So my last video was about the Perplexity API MCP. However, towards the end of that video, I was talking about the Brave MCP. I've now tested this out. And if you can find a use case for finding something specific on a certain page for search operators, with search operators, this is infinitely useful for you. Now, I'm gonna give you a few different examples here, okay? But search operators, if you don't know, are incredibly powerful at finding specific things on websites, right? So let's just say, for example, okay, I'm just gonna give you an example. I wanted to find trending keywords on a website like Redbubble, right? You can actually do siteredbubble.com, go here to tools, anytime, and then let's say past 24 hours, and you can see what's just started ranking on Google for a specific site, right? So you can use this to spy on competitors, for example. Let's say I was a competitor of two men. I could do the same thing, put this on a week, and we can see what content uh, two men is coming out with, right? And what's getting indexed on two men right now, okay? And you can take this further. Let's say I just want to know blogs, right? So you can do slash blogs, let's say past month. There's nothing here for some reason. So we'll do slash collections instead. Uh, again, nothing here. And then you can put it on a year if you do want to find stuff and nothing else is appearing. So we've got all these blogs, right? These are the last, these are the blogs that my competitor, although it's me, obviously, has created in the last year, right? So this can give you some keyword ideas, for example. So that's one use case, right? Let's do another use case. So let's do site, uh, let's do in text. Um, and then we'll do write for us. And then we'll say like um, sartorial clothing, right? So let's try, which, let, let's say we're trying to find guest post opportunities for two men, which is a sort of sartorial uh, clothing web store, right? So we can go here, we can look for right for us. Okay, so they don't have a right for us here. This is just someone mentioning right for us. So we can just keep scrolling through. You know what we could do as well? We could do in URL, right? So in URL, right for us, right? And then say sartorial clothing. Okay, so let's try something a bit broader, like menswear. There we go. So now we're really starting to find very, very specific pages, right? So th these are literally pages that are trying to sell backlinks, right? Not necessarily what you want, but I'm just saying this is another use case, right? As long as you can find something on a page that you need or in a URL or on a certain domain, this is where search operators come into play. Now, what the hell has this got to do with Klein, Brave, Fetch, Gemini, etc., right? So if I just go on Visual Studio Code and I just show you something very, very interesting here, okay? So I've tried this with GPT-4 in Mini. I will say it doesn't work with GPT-4 in Mini, unfortunately. The reason that's unfortunate is because GPT-4 in Mini is extremely cheap, right? So when uh, Google, as they definitely will, starts charging us more money for their API, then we'll be able to, I, I want another backup model, right? That's as good as Sonnet, for example. So I'm gonna set this here. I'm just gonna to go to my MCP servers and show you what I have set up. I have Fetch, Stripe, Complexity, and Brave at the bottom here. If you don't know what you're doing with MCP servers, Feel free to check out the school. It'll be the first link in the description of this video. You can see people are joining, people are active, people are saying that the content's good. It's very, very in-depth content. I'm putting everything that I'm learning inside these. So what I'm talking about here is actually already inside uh, the school. Um, and then I've got how to set up Klein. I've even got how to like install Visual Studio Code. What is Visual Studio Code? All of that stuff, right? So this is the AI uh, class, the module, and then the second module that I've done so far is SEO from scratch, right? So I'm trying to just have a one-stop shop for all things AI automation, but with that comes SEO um, and also all my prompts in one place as well, so with, with SOPs. So this is kind of what I'm working on um, in my spare time. I've probably put like 20 hours into it already. I'm planning on putting hundreds and hundreds of hours into this, guys. This ju we're just at the beginning with this project. but um, So yeah, these are my MCPs. If you want to know how to set them up, just go to Marketplace, just write what you want. Let's just say fetch. Just click install, right? And then once you've installed it, uh, sorry, once you've clicked install, press cancel immediately. I'll just show you how this works. So I'll just press install here. Press cancel immediately and say I'm on Windows Git Bash or whatever your terminal is. So when you go to terminal, new terminal, whatever it says here, it needs to know what type of terminal this is, right? So you need to just make sure it knows. 
once it knows that, it should be able to set it up. Another thing I like to do is say, make sure you have some kind of system to start the MCP server uh, when we run it, right? Or something like that. So that's my advice for MCP servers. If we just go here and we say, um, use search operators um, to look for Redbubble keywords, right? This is just an example. I'll just do a very short example of this. Use site Redbubble dot com in text i don't know t-shirt and if possible set it to what started ranking in the last week and give me some interesting keyword results you find on the search right so let's try this out i've never done this before on klein just so you know this is an old technique that i came up with ages ago when i used to make print on demand uh, content so this should work it does you can see um, it's found a load of t-shirts and then what it can do is it can create um, a list basically so we've got kiss me t-shirt for example has just started ranking on Google um, yeah the one thing I do recommend uh, one thing that's kind of annoying about this is the the images I don't I don't need these images to be honest with you um, so we could click on insert text here open this right this is something that is probably trending right now on redbubble right and there's only how many results do we have so again this is just an example right so there's quite a lot of results for this so you probably would you probably still want to make this so because this is on google it means that you know it's ranking on google okay well not necessarily but it's it, sorry it's ranking on google but there's not necessary searches but you know, this is just one use of this. So there's many, many different uses of this you can use. So let's try another one. So we'll press plus here and we'll say, I'll just send it this exact same uh, prompt I sent it before because this was working really, really well. And this really demonstrates the ability of this. So this is the prompt that I used in the last video as well, but it's using the Brave MCP instead of um, Perplexity. And it just works a lot better, right? So we've got all of this already, bang. All of these are potential keywords. Sorry, not potential keywords, potential write for us articles. Remember, this is completely free because Brave, if you look, gives you uh, 2,000 requests per month, right? And I've been doing this a fair amount and I've used 39, right? I've been doing this for two days now, I believe, or a day and a bit. I don't really know. Oh, um, here we go. Let's see. So I've used this. Yeah, I mean, I've barely used it, to be honest with you. I think I might have actually only installed it yesterday thinking about it. So we can see here what happens is it then scrapes that page, right? And you can see at the bottom here, it says use fetch text on the fetch API. What this means is it just looks for text instead of uh, markdown or whatever. Much faster, much more efficient. You know, this is 100% free. This is now finding me backlinks 100% for free, right? And then all I need to do is plug this into uh, Google Sheets hook that up to Zapier or N810, and you have an automation, right? You have something that is basically going to build backlinks for you. You just generate one of these CSVs every, every couple of weeks or every week or whatever, and you have some kind of system to stop it doing duplicates, whether that be RAG, or you just feed the current CSV and say, make, make sure not to have any of these URLs um, in in the new CSV or add to this CSV without any duplicates or something like that, right? And then this is how you can start to really get good value out of these tools, not just like build me a note-taking app, okay? Another thing is you can take this data and you can turn it into a PDF, you can turn it into a report, you can turn it into whatever the hell you want, right? And what does that mean? That means that you can then sell it you can use it, you can, you know, use it for client work. There, there's many, many different things that you can do with that. So I'm going to leave the video there, guys. This is completely free. There is no price to this. This is effectively an AI VA that will work for you. You just need to work out how to get it to work for you. And like I said, it's, it's pretty easy if you understand the concept of search operators. I recommend looking up search operators on Google, having a little look around them. You can use ChatGPT, but sometimes it messes them up. So definitely just Google around, understand the different use of each search operator, understand what you can do with them. And also another thing that I've just found out, by the way, um, is that the Brave API, if you pay for it, 
let's just go on uh, subscriptions. If you pay for it, you actually, if you pay this, which is $5 per 1,000 requests, which is not totally unreasonable, okay? You get all of this extra information as well. So you get locations, you can get locations, you can get discussions, FAQ, info box, schema enriched web, web results, images, news, videos. Okay, now one more thing before we go. Actually, I'm not going to mention this at the end of this video because I've got a really exciting video coming up that I want to make. But I don't want to give it away because someone might make the same video as me. And I want to be the first to talk about this. My next video is going to be something very interesting, guys. I highly recommend that you watch out for it. It's going to blow you away. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll leave the video there if you're watching all the way. The end of this video, as usual, you're an absolute legend. And I will see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.